Hey what's up guys welcome back to this tutorial in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this awesome looking 2d bus animation inside afterbit before we get started i want to show you you guys can download this uh, flat bus animation project start file and follow along with me okay this artwork is designed by catalyst stuff so shout out to him you guys can check out his work in free pick okay and he has really nice looking work you can check out his work and yeah and let's get start with the project after you open this flat bus animation project start file you will have this you will have this bus illustration with all these layers and i will also include the illustrator file just in case okay now let's get start with the tie animation i just separate all these layers we have pg and shadows and bus body and all the windows like this as you can see and bus outline all the three tires all of these as separated tires okay now i'm gonna just lock this pg so we are not accidentally move it lock the shadow layer go to toolbar and select the pan behind tool hold control on your keyboard and just snap to below like that okay now the anchor point in the below so you can see now i'm gonna just parent this bus outline to this bus body so just go here and parent and link if you don't see parent and link just right click and the columns you will find this parent and link menu i'm just gonna pick with this to bus body just like that okay now we will also just parent the all the windows to the bus body as well so i'm gonna just pick with this to the bus body and we are not going to parent the tires okay we will keep it as separated layers and yeah let's just start with the tire animation so i'm gonna just go here and four second and then press a uh, because we are going to create a loop if you want more short animation you can go two second and then press a like that i'm gonna just go four and then press a and let's go zero second and because uh, we have 4k project i recommend you guys to just reduce the resolution so it will not affect your computer performance okay and i will set the third for now and let's press tire one layer and then press r for rotation if your anchor point is not in the middle just press ctrl alt home on your game and it will reset the anchor point and now if you check the rotation as you can see it will rotate now let's create a new keyframe and go to one second and then set this to one like that it will so it will give 360 rotation as you can see it not going the correct direction so i'm gonna go to one second and set this to minus one now let's add a uh, expression so i'm gonna hold alt on my keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon and let's type loop out expression and then just release it and if you press space bar as you can see the tires will move forward like that now if you want more speed you can just drag this last keyframe a bit forward like that now if you press the space bar as you can see it will rotate more speed looks good and now i'm gonna go to tire 2 and tire 3 or shift and click so it will select both now let's just zoom out a little bit now press r again for rotation and i'm gonna just copy this i'm gonna just select this and then press ctrl c and then go to this tire 2 rotation and then press ctrl v to paste it and i will go to tire 3 rotation and then ctrl v to paste it again like that now as you can see it will also bring all the expression as well now if you press space bar as you can see now it's really good to offset these layers because all of these tires rotate at the exact same time we don't need that so i'm gonna just offset these layers a bit like that so it will give some random rotation like that as you can see now let's we are done with the tires so i'm gonna just close this up now let's go with the bus body so as you can see we place the anchor point below so i'm gonna press key and then r shift r so it will bring both position and rotation properties and now let's go to zero second and i'm gonna just separate the dimension of the position so select this position right click choose this separate dimension option and it will give you x and y axis and i'm gonna just create animation for y position so i'm gonna create a new keyframe in the zero second let's go one second again or maybe let's go six frame okay let's go six frame forward and bring it up like that and looks good 
now i'm gonna just apply a ping pong expression so i'm gonna hold alt and click on this y position stop watch icon and i'm gonna type uh, loop out ping pong expression let's type loop out and then let's type ping pong and it will give back and forth like that as you can see we need to give some ECs, so I'm gonna just select this keyframe and then press F9. Let's go to graph editor and make sure you choose edit value graph. Okay, select Y position and let's select this fit all graph to view. And I'm gonna just increase the graph like that. So it will give some smooth curve. So if you press spacebar, as you can see, if you want more sharper look in motion you can just play with this curve and uh, yeah looks good i think it's bouncing too much so i'm gonna just reduce it okay we don't need too much good the bus and uh, yeah looks good i will just drag the last keyframe a bit forward like that let's see it. yeah looks good now let's also add some rotation so i'm gonna create a new rotation keyframe in the zero second let's go four frame forward and give some little slight rotation maybe 1.5 something like that yeah if it's too much yeah i think it's too much so let's stick with the one and let's also give that ping pong expression we don't need to type it again just go one position right click copy expression only and then go to rotation and then press ctrl v to paste it i'm gonna just select this and then press f9 to ease let's go back to graph editor and give a curve something like that okay yeah now i'm gonna just also uh, offset this layer so it will give nice looking motion let's check this out as you can see without any offset it's boring and when you give some offset to the body as you can see it will give really nice looking motion zoom out a little bit like that now if you check the animation we are almost there now we need to add some interest to the windows so i'm gonna just add some reflection so for the windows i separated all the windows as separated layer now i'm gonna just go to windows one let's add some lines go to top of the toolbar and select the pen tool i'm gonna just disable the fill we don't need that and let's go with a uh, white color stroke and i will go with maybe 20 pixels you can increase it later okay first let's check it yeah it's too thin let's increase the stroke like that yeah something like that now i'm gonna call this reflection one and let's duplicate this layer ctrl d to duplicate let's bring it downward like that and then go to transform and in here we can find the opacity let's reduce the opacity bit don't worry we are going to mask it close this up now i'm gonna place it above the windows one and i'm gonna just pick pick this to windows one like that now i'm gonna just press p on my keyboard let's go to zero second and then bring it this layer here like that now i'm gonna just right click and separate dimension because we only need x position so i'm gonna get a keyframe and let's go four second four frame forward and bring it here like that now i'm gonna just select this keyframe go to graph editor and give a same graph like the like before just select this and yeah something like that you guys can just play with this one okay now i'm gonna just find the bus because we have this expression ping pong expression so i'm gonna just select this and then right click copy expression and let's go exposition and then just paste it now if you check it as you can see it will go back and forth now i'm gonna just add set matte effect so go to effect and preset if you don't see this effect and preset you can go to windows and find the effect and preset here and let's search for set matte effect i'm gonna just double click and let's set this to as i met windows one and i'm gonna set the effect and mask now if you check the animation as you can see it only appears in the windows one layer now i'm gonna just duplicate this reflection one so we have another layer and let's go place it above the windows two and i'm gonna press ctrl or home on my keyboard and then just press u make sure you are anchor point in the middle of this layer okay i didn't do that in the reflection one 
let's fix it in this layer let's disable the reflection one and let's also remove the keyframe of the exposition let's place it in the second window this one and then create a new keyframe and let's go four frame forward like that just like before and i'm gonna just set it right here like that okay now let's check it don't worry we don't see it because we have to go in effect control and set the set matters our windows to now it will appear as you can see i'm gonna pick this to the windows too that's basically it i'm gonna just repeat this work to all of these windows as you can see i'm gonna just fast forward this step Okay, I will do the last one just to show you guys for the window 7 and we have this one I'm gonna just go the reflection 6 and I'm gonna just duplicate select this and then press ctrl D to duplicate and let's place it above the window 7 and press U to bring all the release keyframe don't worry I'm accidentally to create a keyframe for the Y position we don't need to care about that okay too much and I'm gonna just select both of these properties and I'm gonna just slide towards the end of this window and yeah now as you can see it's not showing because we need to set the matte layer as our window 7 like that now it will show I'm gonna just press ctrl a and then close this up we need to parent all these layers so reflection 2 goes to ref windows 2 reflection 3 goes to windows 3 and i will keep doing the same thing okay okay perfect now if you guys check this animation as you can see it has more interest now if you think it's too much you guys can always go here in the reflection menu and select all the reflection and then press u and yeah you guys can just place it however you like and just experiment with the placement of these keyframes to give some random value i'm gonna not going to do that you guys can just check out as you can see a bit slower than the previous i'm gonna stick with this one here it looks really nice and let's press ctrl a to select all and just close this up i'm gonna just go ahead and create some smoke layers and this is gonna be simple smoke so i'm gonna create a new composition go here and let's name this smoke okay and i'm gonna go with 1080 by 1080 resolution and let's go with the duration it doesn't matter really let's go with five uh, six second duration and i'm gonna hit okay now let's zoom this in now i'm gonna just close this here and let's add uh let's go to tuba and create a rectangle tool we don't need to stroke we need a fill so i'm gonna i'm gonna just disable the stroke and set the fill to white and let's draw a simple rectangle like that i'm gonna press ctrl alt home on my keyboard to center the anchor point like that now let's uh, call this smoke i'm gonna press enter and then let's type smoke now if you go to windows and find the effect and preset we already have here and i'm gonna just type wave warp effect and let's search for wave warp and we have it in the distort category so i'm gonna just select this and double click to paste it and let's increase the wave width a little bit something like that and let's also increase the wave height as you can see it's not uh, perfect so i'm gonna just set the uh, pinning to all edges as you can see it will pin to the bottom of this composition like that now let's keep some wave type something like circles yeah looks pretty good and i'm gonna just give a direction something like that so it will give some that smoke vibe yeah looks like a smoke if you press space bar and as you can see it will give some nice looking circular smoke and you can just play with the height and width and i'm gonna just stick with this one and yeah let's go back to this main composition if you go to project panel we can bring this smoke layer back down and i'm gonna just place it below the shadow layer like that and as you can see 
so i'm gonna go to here and let's place it somewhere around here and then press s to bring this gap properties i'm gonna just uncheck this chain icon then just play with the x and y scale properties create a mask like that as you can see it's not what we are looking for we need to invert this so go to smoke and just tick this invert icon you can always go to smoke and just play with the wave height okay i like that so i'm gonna just place it here let's double click and bring it up like that the edge is a little bit too harsh so i'm gonna just add some feather so select this smoke layer and then press f and then increase the mass feather a bit as you can see it will give some nice looking blending animation and that's basically it now i'm gonna just show you how to add some cartoon in loop so let's add some adjustment layer so right click new and adjustment layer and this one will be our posterized time let's call this fx now let's go to effect and preset and search for posterized time i'm gonna just double click i'm gonna set the posterized time to 12 like that now if you press space bar it will give that cartoony look i'm gonna also show you how to add some displacement using turbulent displace so let's add a new an adjustment layer and let's go this displace and i'm gonna go to effect and preset again and search for turbulent displace i'm gonna just double click as you can see it's too much so i'm gonna uh, reduce it quite a bit so i'm gonna set the amount to six and size to maybe 20 like that if you go to evolution option you will find this random seed value and you can just increase it to find how much you have the displacement you can always go amount and set the value you want maybe five is quite good you know what let's stick with the six here looks looks good i'm gonna add a time expression so i'm gonna go to here and press alt on my keyboard and click on this stopwatch icon and i'm gonna type time multiple by maybe 50 yeah looks good let's check it out yeah looking good you can always go there and check it give some different values okay and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this as you can see it's really easy to animate this flat illustration in after bit not only bus you can also go with uh, cars or whatever you like if you like this tutorial make sure you uh, like and subscribe to my channel and yeah if you have any question please don't forget to ask in the comment section as always thank you so much for the better supporters and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace